are about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. What's wrong with X20? He should have answered my call 10 million minutes ago. Surface Agent X20 reporting, Your Majesty. I'm sorry for the delay, but Save I Save your excuses. There's work to be done. All our plans for the destruction of Stingray have been to no avail. <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. If we cannot destroy the craft, we must ruin the efficiency of the crew. Or better still, have them replaced with inexperienced aquanauts. A masterful scheme, Your Excellency. But how can I get them relieved of duty? Don't ask me, you fool. I give the orders. You think of ways to carry them out. Oh, why must Titan always give me the impossible tasks? <laughs> That's the operation, Atlanta. There's millions and millions of gallons of oil in that container tube, and it needs just one small ship to tow it. Oil floats on water. Everyone knows that. But this is an old idea, surely, sir. Maybe the idea is old, but the material that tube's made of is new. That's why we can carry such a big quantity of crude oil. I know what you're going to ask next. Why is Stingray on escort duty? That's right. Well, the big brass are treating this with top priority. They wanted the best, and they got it. Well, that concludes the lecture. Let's get back to... Hey. Sir, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that I forgot the window washers were at work today. <laughs> kind of startled me. What they don't realize is that I'm cleaning their windows so that I can see them more clearly.
Stingray from Tower. Stingray from Tower. Everything's as it should be, Atlanta. Routine report. Message received and understood. <laughs> Okay, fella. Your move. Well, well, well. You've let yourself in for a whole heap of trouble. Game. Save it, Phones. It's time for another ocean check. What, again? Yeah, again. Well, there can't be another ship or craft within ten miles of us. This is as good a place as any. The oil must come this way. It's a bold plan, but this echo transmitter could do the trick. <laughs> and it works by remote control. <laughs> Should be in range by now. Let's hope they're listening in. Got something? Well, there's some kind of underwater craft down there, that's for sure. Can you get a fix in this position? Nothing could be easier. Any second now. I can't see a thing. You must have made a mistake, Phones. It stopped. Stingray from tow vessel. Emergency. Emergency. We're on fire. There's nothing we can do. We're abandoning ship. Roger. Proceeding at full speed to pick up survivors. Just look at that. There's nothing we can do except pick up the survivors and head for home. Okay, Troy, and come back with some answers. They'd better be good, because, brother, you're going to need them.
Okay, okay, okay. Let's have some order. I said order. That's better. Now, to summarize, we don't know, probably never shall, whether this disaster was an accident or an enemy attack. But I can't ignore the one definite fact that this inquiry has brought to light. Stingray was, at the time, investigating a sounding taken by phones. A sounding that proved to be completely without foundation. This is an inquiry, Commander. Phones isn't on trial. There's absolutely no reason order, why... Order! Order! I appreciate your concern, Captain Tempest. I'm sure all of us in this room share it. But I am responsible for the aquanauts of the World Security Patrol. I'm sorry, sir. Good. This inquiry has underlined once again that all Marineville personnel must be 100%, both physically and mentally. An error of judgment must be thoroughly investigated. It is the decision of this inquiry that phones must submit to a full medical checkup. And until the results are forthcoming, phones will be relieved of all duties. Let's have a bunch of Okay. Well, sure. okay. Congratulations, surface agent. You have done well. Thank you, Your Majesty. And make sure that Phones fails his medical checkup. Oh, he will. He will. A meeting. A meeting will shortly be arranged between Phones and myself in this disguise. He will be under the impression that I am a psychiatrist who can help him. By the time I'm finished with him, he'll be laughed on to do wasps forever. <laughs> Troy, you know I feel as bad as you do about this phones business. And I, I just didn't have a choice. I know. But phones isn't the type for hallucinations or whatever you call it. Well, there's no other explanation. But there must be. Maybe there's something we haven't thought of. Look, Troy, the matter's closed. Of course, if some new evidence was to come to light, naturally, it would have to be... Unofficial, but you, good luck anyway, Troy. You didn't have to invite me to break the rules, Commander. I was going to anyway. I look forward to meeting you, Mr. Fomes. Don't forget, I rented the house on the island of Limoy. Well, I know it. I, I, I just hope that if you find anything wrong, that you'll be able to fix me up before the checkup, Doc. Don't worry. I'll fix you up all right. Oh, hi, Troy. Now, look, I've got a plan that may help to clear this whole thing up. Keep it under your hat. But this is the idea. Wow. This is great. My first trip out to sea in Stingray. Now, take it easy, Fisher. Don't touch a thing unless I tell you. Okay, Troy, all clear. Great. You've got about six hours. Good luck. An interesting case, Mr. Fons. Most interesting. Now, tell me, have you ever experienced hallucinations previously? Well, uh, no. No, I, I've had some kind of crazy dreams, but I've never imagined soundings before. Very well. Now, please, to close your eyes, just let yourself go and completely relax. Now, I'm going to play you some music just to make you forget all your troubles. Gee, the noise is deafening, but 
I guess you're the doc. Mr. Fawns, now open your eyes for a moment and tell me your thoughts. Boy, have I gone crazy? This room, it, it's changed. Say, what's going on? What are you talking about, Mr. Fawns? Surely you're not having another hallucination, are you? I don't know, but I could have sworn the room was different before. I don't remember it like this. No, no, Mr. Fonts. Just close your eyes again. Let's have some more music. And this time, try to relax. <laughs> open my eyes yet? All right, Mr. Fonts, you can open them. Gee, I, I'm, I'm scared. Supposing I've had another hallucination. Come along, Mr. Fonts. You must face up to the truth. Open your eyes. <laughs> I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Boy, am I sick. By the room, it's, it's back like it was before. <sighs> Alas, Mr. Fonts, the room has never changed. It's all in the mind. Now, what you need is to go to some lonely place and forget all about the wasps. Pity I didn't know all this earlier. We would have saved Troy Tempest a trip. He's going out to that spot to look for evidence. Say that again? But Troy Tempest is taking Stingray out to sea, looking for evidence. You don't say. You can stay aboard, Fisher, and I'll go outside and search. Okay. Of course, it'd sure help if we knew what we were looking for. Um, could I uh, listen into those uh, headphones, do you think? How many more times have I got to say no? This is an unofficial trip, and you're just not used to the equipment. If and when you join the crew, you touch, okay? Okay. Um, sorry, Captain. <laughs> Tempest will be alone, Your Majesty. We can rid the seas of Stingray forever. Brilliant work, X20. You will be well rewarded. Your thanks are all that I require. My personal guard will meet you and ensure the success of your plan. <laughs> First quarter. You got another half hour, Captain. Thanks, Fisher. Nothing yet.
atmosphere. Captain, what is it? I'm picking up a sounding, some kind of submarine, and close. You've got those headphones on? Uh, well, well, yeah. Well, don't sound so sorry. If you've really found something, I'll buy you a set. From the sound of it, it can't be far away. I'm on the way back. Open the hatches. <laughs> was a close one. What about those two jokers outside? Well, they can't do anything. Let's worry about that sub. Now, I wonder where those two guards have got to. Stingray! Shall I prepare the sting missiles for launch, Captain? Let's wait a while. See if we can't find out what it's doing down here. Why don't they attack and get it over with? Maybe this will fool them. Got another sounding, Skipper. There's a ship right behind us. There can't be. We would have heard it approaching. Unless... Let's trace this echo right back and see what it is. I've got an idea. This could be the answer. <laughs> That's it, Bones. Yes, from now, you're back on call. Gee, shucks, I, I just don't know what to say. It is really great of y'all, what you did. Do you know, I got to the stage where I thought I saw room spinning round. Room spinning round? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, ain't it? <laughs> I, I must be crazy working for Titan. I ought to get my head examined. Close to my 